Good morning, Asgard. You wanna go outside and see the chickens? Come on, let's go. We're about to go pick up the rental truck because we dropped the Jeep off at the shop and the ABS system is acting up. So we rented a pickup truck to go up to Vermont and we're gonna pack it up today and head up tonight. First. We're here at Tractor Supply. We're getting some waterers because we're going to be away for a few days. But I couldn't resist picking this up because every time we came to Tractor Supply this year, Riley came home with at least five more chickens every time. So, here you go, Riley. Thank you. Mother hen. So since we're going away for the week, the plan is that my mother and father will only have to feed the chickens. They won't have to give them any water. So we're going to sacrifice one of buckets, put some poultry waters in it, and uh, call it a day. leaving about one o'clock in the morning because when you hit work traffic in New York City, it's too stressful. We got the rental truck all packed up. We are just about ready to hit the road. Stop at the Vermont Country Deli, grab some breakfast, and to stretch your legs before the last 100 miles. Did I really click the whole trip? Yeah, you did.
We are here. Almost killed this little guy. Let's let him go over in the water. So Dana and Riley are completely done with the black flies. We put on bug spray and it doesn't help. We're in the peak of black fly season. So they're in here hanging out. So we got the tent set up and Dana and Riley are enjoying a fly free zone right now. You having fun, Riley? I'm hot. Yeah, I thought so. The ticks out here are worse than I've ever seen in my life before. Literally pulling three and four off every two or three minutes. They're just too quick. They just constantly fly. They hit and they jump. They hit, they jump. This is how I expected it. It's living up to expectations. This is measurable. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty measurable. Here at Alumni Acres Hometown Walmart. I'm still in disbelief how bad the ticks are. More ticks? <sighs> bear scat. Oh, that's definitely bear scat. really hear the water rushing now. Last year when we came up here, the brook was completely dry because they were in the middle of a drought uh, due to a mild winter. Black flies on me. So, it is springtime and it's still pretty wet out. So we got some decent amount of water coming through. And it looks pretty good. This is beautiful. This is such a blessing to have this on the property. Look at that, that's awesome. That is beautiful. This be a good spot for a uh, 
a little bridge right yeah, across. It's, it's already got the logging road cut out, so be a nice pasture up in here. Let's take a look and see the pasture. The future pasture area. Yeah. Or an apple tree, something like that. This is a great area to start with a pasture. The loggers left so much waste through here. Everywhere as you look, there's waste. The loggers that logged our property before we owned it really were slob loggers because everything's rotted out. Everything's starting to erode. They left a lot of waste everywhere. And they damaged countless trees trying to get to the trees that they were harvesting. They had no regard for any of this. They just didn't care about sustainability. This should be where we come back and start cutting wood up. Here? Yeah. Oh, I got him. Yeah, all right. I got the black fly. Yeah. One black fly, now 80 more will come. And zoom around your head, bite, and run away. Okay? There you go. That is perfect timing. And here comes another one. Perfect timing. Dana just called us for dinner as we're walking up. Here's another example of the waste they left. We're coming. This is all wet, Kirk. Careful. Look, this here, this is the spring we found last year. That's how much it's flowing. It is actually going all the way down here. And it's actually flooding out behind our campsite. Our campsite where we're camping is our is actually the old wood lot. Dennis ready? Yeah. Gonna make your honey mustard. Or I can make you a Caesar. Well, Just make me a Caesar because I forgot the honey. I was so disappointed. That was our own honey too. So we had to rent an Airbnb because we're dealing with a problem. And this is the problem. These are all ticks that we have taken off ourselves in the past hour. This is how bad the tick problem is up here on the property. So tomorrow we're going to be heading to the Airbnb and tonight we're going to have to stay in a tent and then pack up tomorrow morning.